beautiful glam girls welcome back to another video so this is a fall decor video instead of just a haul we're gonna be decorating so i'm gonna start with this planter and you can see what it looked like in the beginning just greens that's what i had for spring and summer but i wanted to jazz it up and make it really fall like since this is the only planter i have and the only one that i can kind of fit in my space so instead of getting something new, I, I just purchased a few things to jazz it up. So I got these pumpkins on sticks, as well as a pack of wheat from uh, TJ Maxx. So you can see I just, you I wanted to use everything so I didn't have to do any additional storage. So I'm continuing to use the greens, but I am arranging everything in a way that makes it look more fall, more harvesty. So I started by kind of lasagna style doing everything. I started by laying out the wheat and then some of the greens and then more of the wheat. I started to build from there and I kind of, I don't know, I really like making floral arrangements and I kind of just try to do it like sporadically but also with a little bit of a method by kind of using symmetry and just my eye to add things here and there to make it look full. And this is the final look. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. This wheat, I will say, is a little bit messy. Um, you will get little bits and pieces of it, especially if you're walking past it. Um, it will kind of fall apart. So it was quite messy, as you guys saw, but the final result is absolutely beautiful. And I did this for like less than 20 bucks. Um, the pumpkins, I think, were $7.99, and the wheat was also, I think, $7.99. So now for my fireplace mantle. I started out by cleaning it with my current fave for the fall. This is the Mrs. Myers um, all-purpose cleaner in the apple cider vinegar scent. I absolutely love it. And so um, for this, I just added this pumpkin that I also got from Marshalls. Really, really beautiful. If you guys saw my last Home Goods or Mar Marshalls haul, I uh, purchased this. And I just thought it was like the perfect pumpkin to just pop on the mantle. Um, for decor, I haven't even checked what I have from last year, but I don't really think I have much in the way of fall decor. So I thought that adding a little bit of a fall candle and the pumpkin was the perfect touch it needed. For my front door, I again DIY'd this wreath. This was a $10 wreath that I got during springtime at Home Goods, and I actually added all of these pumpkin picks and faux flowers, leaves. I added the scarecrow and I got all of that stuff at Dollar Tree. So if you guys want to see what they have at Dollar Tree, check out my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I actually did a full decor like shop with me for fall. I probably will do another one at some point now that it's full on fall season. Um, and I DIY'd the, um, the wreath and I didn't take out anything that was already there. It had purple flowers from springtime. And all I did was basically the same thing I did to the planter. I added the pumpkins, added the scarecrow, and I just stuck it into the uh, wreath until it looked kind of cute. It's a little bit messy. It may not be like perfectly styled, but for the front door of my apartment, it's perfect. I don't need anything that's gonna like catch the attention of the whole neighborhood. It's just, just to have something cute and sweet that lets everyone know that I'm in the spirit. So like I mentioned before, if you guys watched my haul, you saw some of these pillows as well. As if you follow me on Instagram, I do shop with me's and I definitely showed this pillow that I got from TJ Maxx recently. So you might be able to pick it up. I just thought it was perfect since I have a teal blush vibe on my sofas. And then I also picked up those two um, pumpkin pillows that you see me fluffing, as well as this mini little beautiful rose gold beaded pumpkin pillow. Like I said, if you wanna see my fall decor, hauls you'll see it more in detail there i have a full fall playlist for you guys with decor and everything i plan on plan on doing more fall videos this season and i just love the vibe of the colors it fell right into my color scheme without having to purchase anything else or put anything in storage um and then for my coffee table i just added this little mini pumpkin you guys saw i got this at target for three dollars they had it in orange as well as a taller black pumpkin really really cute three dollars each and i just popped that right onto my little tray here on my coffee table again just the perfect little chic way of adding those fall touches without going over the top um, I love getting white pumpkins that have either like a silver trim or gold something um, just to keep it really simple and chic and you can use them year after year. 
always with any decor, any color scheme you have, you can't go wrong with a nice white pumpkin. For the kitchen, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen my little coffee nook. It is not much at all, but I just thought I used what I have to just make something of it. I was feeling a little bit more traditional this season, as you guys can see, with more pumpkins and more scarecrows and wheat and like all of those traditionally fall looks and feels. So I had this um, basket that came in a set that I also got in my home goods haul, if you saw. And then I just used more of those Dollar Tree little things that I purchased, the scarecrow, the pumpkins. And then I took some of that wheat um, from my planter, whatever I had like left over. I just took one to add here, as well as some of the greens. And I just put them right there in the corner. I tucked it into the weaving of the basket just to add a little flair. I don't know if this is particularly, you know, super cute or anything, but it's really just there just to give that warm, cuddly feeling in the morning when I wake up and make my pumpkin spice coffee. It really just adds to that, you know, warm, cozy, cuddly fall vibe. Again, this is something that's only gonna be here for like two months, so I wasn't trying to like spend a ton of money or go over the top. I, I don't wanna have to buy more stuff that I have to put in storage and find a place for once it's Christmas, once it's spring. So I was just trying to utilize everything I had to just create that look. I also got a home goods canisters or jars or whatever you want to call it. this one's a cookie jar it has my Starbucks hot cocoa which I haven't started drinking yet but it's finally chilly it's actually only like 50 something degrees right now it's actually getting really chilly so I'm excited to start having some hot cocoa and then the other one is actually just empty um, and this one says faves and sometimes um, I actually will put marshmallows in there so that I can have my marshmallows with the hot cocoa But because it hasn't even been cold yet. I haven't gotten any so I'm keeping it empty But I probably will get some marshmallows and put them in there so I can have my hot cocoa and marshmallows Isn't that cute? Um, and then in the Christmas in the, in the Christmas time in Christmas time I will put candy canes in there because I like to have peppermint hot cocoa so just some little tips for food stuff then I picked up these um, fall napkins as well and this little pumpkin. I got those two things at TJ Maxx as well. And then a little trick I did here was I took this rose gold mirrored frame that I had and I had in storage that I haven't used and I took one of the napkins and put it in there. And I thought it looked so cute. I'm like, why didn't I think of this before as decor? Instead of having to like print something out or spend more money on a print, I used things I already had. Um, and then I decided to put it on this side on my little kitchen island instead to add a pop of fall there um, Because on the other side I felt like it was a little bit too cluttered and I think it came out so cute my little nook I feel like it's so cute and then over the sink um, We have like nails that I guess the person who lived there before used to hang things and I use them to hang mugs And I put this little sign that I also got at Dollar Tree just super super cute I love to have things like this in the kitchen um, because I don't really put signs or anything like that in the rest of the house but in the kitchen it just it feels so nice to have those little reminders and cute things while I'm cooking and making my coffee and I thought it looked so cute there to like anchor the fall decor of the kitchen and the whole apartment so that's everything for now guys of course once I do my tablescape for Friendsgiving, for Thanksgiving. You guys will see that as well. I've just been so busy. It's fashion week. I was sick. There was a lot happening. I feel like I really haven't had a chance to like focus on decor or anything like that. So this is just what I've started. But once I go through what I have like in storage and um, start working on my decor for Thanksgiving dinner and everything, you guys know there will be a video all about that as well. If you want to see my tablescape from last year, that's in the fall playlist down below, as well as my friend giving vlog if you want to see the food and everything how it turned out that will be there as well thank you guys so much for watching i love you don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and stay glam bye